one day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, dot dot dot. Mount Ebbet, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. I, I looked away from the screen. <laughs> let's let some plot happen, shall we? Where? the beginning uh, theme of Undertale has a little bit of hopes and dreams with it. Or maybe the other way around. Dun dun. Undertale. Alright. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Eclipse Corp here and welcome to Undertale. This is a game that I've really wanted to start playing. Uh... And I think I think it's a good chance for me to explore my voice acting a little bit. Oh crap! It started over. No, 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 no. How do I stop this? <laughs> oh Z. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Welcome to Undertale. Um, I I started it. I'm gonna reset. Yes, and I'm gonna start it as Donnie. Uh, it's probably going to read that I reset because this game works like that. If you don't know anything about Undertale, um, basically sometimes the characters, like, they have a little bit of background knowledge on, like, if you reset the game or not, which is really cool. Uh, but I've never really seen it in action. Uh, I hope to see, um, some, like, in this gameplay, which would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I, uh, a little bit of background on, like, me, like, I've always wanted to play this game because I'm really into the music. That, that's what, like, a lot of YouTubers play this game for, is the music. Um, it, like, all the remixers, I love all of them. Like, uh, KMX, Caliber, Cement City, and, uh, Sharex, and all of them. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing any of them right, and I, please don't get mad at me. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, let's get into the game. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. <laughs> Why? You'd make me introduce myself? Yeah, it reads that- Oh my god! It's reading that I- It's reading that I <laughs> restarted. Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you some proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. See, Flowey's voice is like a little bit like my normal voice with a normal tone. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What does LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> the music. Hey, buddy, you, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Uh, nope. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Friendliness pellets. <laughs> oh, I love this game. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just want to see me suffer. Die. 
<laughs> oh, that's papyrus. What? There you go. Alright, British accent time. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if someone has fallen down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Oh, I love Toriel. This way. I'm gonna beat you. Oh. I'm gonna beat you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna say. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Woo! All right. Uh, I remember this part from when uh, Team Four started this gameplay. Oh my God, it's hilarious. Uh, Vegeta, love him. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. are full of puzzles. I feel like this isn't picking up my voice. <laughs> Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please, adjust yourself to the sight of them. No! Mine. Oh. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Good to know. It's pretty loud. I can't really hear myself talking. Eh, uh, okay. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. I shall pass. How can I not pass this? Seriously. I can literally walk right here. This switch is over there on the wall. Good to know. Please press this switch. Sorry. I don't even know if I'm doing my British anymore. <laughs> Go on. Press the switch on the left. No. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Fine, because you're so innocent. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move from to the next room. Oh god, I just tried to do like what Markiplier did. Rolling my R's. <laughs> As a human living in the underground... I, I think it's funny how that is like completely like freaking all caps. UNDERGROUND! Okay. So, As a human living in the UNDERGROUND! Monsters may attack you. You would need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will uh, enter a fight. A fight! While you are in a fight, strike up a co friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come observe the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I wonder if this is Mad Dummy. You encountered the dummy. Why am I... I think that's Asgore's voice, it's the narrator. I don't know. Uh, mercy. Spare. The dummy stands around, absentmindedly. Oh really? I have to talk to it. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold! Woo! No progress! Ah, very good. You are very good. Yay! There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. So you're gonna be like, there was no puzzle. Hey, Froggit. You got something under you that's living. But you are a monster, so... I shall compliment you. Frogger didn't understand what you said, 
But it was flowered anyway. <laughs> that face. Badass mom. Oh yeah. <laughs> she had that look like, I am so cool. I gotta talk to you. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. I will check my friggin' emails. This takes forever. Oh, she's done. The puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Ah, oh, the music stopped. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Dot dot dot. <laughs> I would like you to rock to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay. Oh no! How will I ever? Both walk, not the middle road. It's weird that, like... Never mind. Uh, I was gonna point something out. I thought I, like... I thought I noticed it when I first played this, but I guess not. What you doing? This isn't hide and seek. Greetings, my child. I saw you. Do not worry. I did not feed you. I noticed that. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. You don't say! Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. Wow, I went Australian. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Take this! I have an idea. I would give you a cell phone. Oh, like I would love it if she like gave a sword. That'd be hilarious. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. If you ever have need of anything, just call. Be good, all right. Uh, my Facebook notifications are blowing up. Ring. Oh wow, ring. <laughs> it's not Toriel's voice. It's, it's hard to switch voices. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous for you to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. You're the frog I spared earlier. Oh god, sorry. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. You some mercy, human. Ribbit. That's somewhat my papyrus voice. I'd like some candy. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. Procedo. Ah, okay. I'm a call Toriel. Uh, crap. Say hello. Darling. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Click. She's so adorable. Alright. Darling. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I am just a silly old lady, silly little lady, who always wait. Wow, I am reading this. I'm butchering this so bad. All right. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. That doesn't tell me anything. Psst. Call her mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. That would... Would that make you happy? To call me... Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. Okay. I got one more. Oh god, no, I don't want to take any more candy. That's rude. Alright. I'm 
Yeah, flirt. Oh god, I don't want to flirt with her. What? Uh huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, how adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find better than an old woman like me. She's like my personality, honestly. Playfully cranking through the leaves, still easy with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Alright. If I could stop burping, that'd be great. Why did I do that? It just made more work for me. Alright. Yeah, a little bit of background on, like, my knowledge of this. Well, never mind. I'm gonna have to talk. Oh, well, actually, no. Um, I've only seen the beginning of the and the end of this gameplay, so some things are spoiled for me, but the whole middle part, I have no idea, um, um, yeah, I, I got just, yeah, I lost my train of thought, I was reading a message. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or biscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Oh my god, it's reading my last... It's reading my last answer. Yes. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt... Like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Okay, so either it's referring to my last save or the human that she knows. Because I'm not the first human. And apparently I look just like the first human that fell down. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know that's what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. She doesn't know I left. Oof. Oh no! I will compliment you. I will compliment the shit out of you. Okay, no! Oh, I fell! <laughs> I wasn't ready! Rocket seems reluctant to fight you. Spare then. Boo! Oh, I got two gold. Still took his lunch money. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Click. I- I'm- mm. Sometimes I hate my voice because I- I'm- Like, my voice will sometimes- Like- they'll, It'll spike. And I apologize. I did it! First try! Woo! I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's probably really loud in my mic, honestly. Boop. Oh no! Mold small. I can just spare these guys. Alright. <laughs> Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? You, you bitch. Mm. That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. You nailed it, but I know you're gonna move. You're trying to kill me. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Well, I don't know you're a sentient being. Looks like a freaking Geodude. Knowing the mouse might one day leave it. Leaves it. Oh, ah, wow. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Save. <laughs> Let's 
Jeez, it's been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. That's gross. Napster, look! What's my, it's my man! What's going on? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? I mean, I don't want to, but yeah. Go ahead. Here comes Napster Blook! Oh no, 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 back, back, back. I shall cheer you, because you need that. You gave Napster Blook a patient smile. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Worm tears. Worm tears. Worm tears. No! That's a look. Looks just a little bit better. She'll cheer you again. You told Naps a look a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Cheering seems to have improved Naps of Look's mood again. Naps of look wants to show you something. Let me try. Yeah, boy. I call it Dapper Blook. Do you like it? Of course I do. Woo! Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's just no one around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll just get out of your way. Oh, I love him! He's like me! He's so much like me! I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any money. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Ribbit, ribbit. Have you heard? I heard that using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen maximum three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Oh, crap, no! No, 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 okay. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now that a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello? I just realized it has been quite a while since I've been uh, cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There's probably a lot of things lying here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something that you really like. Do you want to leave room in your pockets for that? Yeah, I have to have it if... Like, if I ever do a Skyrim gameplay, if I ever do it. The enemy's the best. Can I get hurt on that? I can. <laughs> but, like, when, if I ever do a Skyrim gameplay, which I doubt I will, because I don't like the game that much. Sorry. Uh, introduced the hate train a little bit. But... <laughs> I know that uh, Vegetoids give me health, so I'm gonna try it. Okay. But yeah, that is always my uh, my problem in Skyrim, is that I would always get over encumbered. Because I always figured I would need something sooner or later. Hey Vegetoid! Joker pot. Part of a complete breakfast! Oh jeez, 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 jeez. All right. Uh, dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. 
Yay! No! God! <laughs> Dinner. Eat your grains. Yay! Oh, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> no, thank you. I would love to do it, but I... That would take eight different turns, and that's assuming if I didn't get hurt. <laughs> so... Okay. Alright. So... Is it blue? Crap! Damn it, Pagon. Finally, someone gets it! Oh, I gave him a Krillin voice. Ah! Lux is gazing at you. Oh! I can spare you! Yay! Right. Oh crap, I lost control of where I... Yes! You hear a clicking sound. Sweet! I picked the right one. And... Yellow... Dang it. I make that mistake every single time. Dang it. Alright. Moving on then. There's probably some kind of base template that I was supposed to hit. Yeah, or supposed to see. And yellow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yay. Yay. <laughs> God! Pay of Luke's! Uh, okay, I thought I got a text, but... Alright, so... I'm losing, like track of what buttons I'm going to push. Please don't pick on- Please don't pick on me! Oh god! No! 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 God! <laughs> smells like eye drops. Don't pick on- Finally someone gets it. Oh god! No! 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 I'm terrible at this game! <laughs> please. Please let there be a save point. Yes. Thank god. Alright. I thought it would. <laughs> I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Who did this to you? But you will get an apology. I should not have left you for alone for so long. Oh, is it because I'm so damaged? Probably. It was irresponsible of me to try to surprise you like this. <laughs> well... I suppose I cannot hide it for any longer. Come, small one. No, get a text. I'm trying to multitask here. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determin gives you determination. Okay, I, I was reading up. Oh crap, I was reading a message. I really need to stop- it's really unprofessional of me, but uh, it's kind of important. Ah, the music. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. That sounds really good, honestly. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Can I just go over here? Oh, I love this game. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad I got it. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Ah, oh, so much, so many feels. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Oh, there's hopes and dreams in here. Oh my god! Oh, this... Hopes and dreams is like my favorite song. An empty photo frame. Oh my god, I'm still in Torio's voice. It's rather dusty. It's a flower. It's flowy. A box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. <gasps> the music!
music changes. What? Oh my god. Oh, I love that. I love it so much. Oh, I love this game. I'm so glad I'm playing it for my channel. Oh my god. Hello there, little one. The pie is not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Oh, I love Toriel. What a nice... Ugh, what a nice smell. I hate... I, I hate that I keep... I can't change voices. Constantly. Too hot to eat, though. Uh, just don't be such a pansy. I can eat it. You just gotta wait five minutes, right? How'd the light turn back on? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love this game so much. <laughs> Oh, bee scotch pie! Better scotch cinnamon pie. I'm pro I'm gonna try and keep that until they go to Asgore. Cause I saw a video and I'm not sure if it's real or not. Up already, I see. Hm. I want you to know that I'm glad to have something he someone here. I'm sorry, but I really have to leave you. I need to get back to the human world. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come to surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. No, it's not. Still. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Oh, this part's gonna tear me apart. Mm -hmm. When can I go home? What? Th this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How do, how do I exit the ruins? But an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip the digestive systems as they mature? That is not the same as what was that what was the first one. That's cool. Interesting. That was actually a pretty interesting snail fact. <laughs> not gonna lie. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. I hate doing this to her because I know her backstory and she's been through hell. Uh, she had to leave her husband and her son died and her foster son died and then, oh my god. If you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the ends of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. No. I wanna go home! Let me go home! Right. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you not understand? Now go to your room. No. <laughs> I'll chase you. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to do this. 
there's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. And I will do so. I will do so by getting hit constantly. Oh, now you gotta hit me. Toriel's acting a loop. What are you doing? Hit me! Come on, I want you to do it. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Attack or run away. Hit me! I want you to do it. Come on, come on, hit me, hit me. Toriel looks through you. What are you proving this way? Ah, it almost hit me. Fight me or leave. I'm going to leave. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. the eyebrows! I know you want to go home, but... but... Please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... Oh, this part destroys my soul! Oh, <laughs> we, we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Oh, the brown. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small when you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. So many feels! Hey. Back at her, that douche, douchey move me. I almost wanted to go back. Oh, I have not yet recovered from that. <laughs> it's in a pretty long room, actually. Okay, there we go. Yeah, flowy. Clever! Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So were you a you were able to play by your own rules. S you spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I 
I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of dying. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill at a frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Do not worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. It is so much more interesting. Get out of here. And... Undertale! By Toby Fox! Yeah! Alright, so that's where I'm going to leave this episode. There's a lot of fields dealt with in this episode. Uh, like if you enjoyed, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. So, until then, bye.